Lexus RX of the third generation, 2009-2015 years of release. Good day if you are wondering is it worth buying a third generation Lexus RX and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So the owners of Lexus cars have never complained about the low corrosion resistance of the body. The Lexus RX crossover is no exception, its body parts are very well protected from corrosion. But unfortunately, there were some small unpleasant surprises. Four or five years after the start of operation, some owners found small red dots on the trunk lid. It turned out that the trunk lid on the Lexus RX was not galvanized, so even small damage was enough for rust to form. Fortunately, Lexus didn't blame the owners for the appearance of miniature rust spots and promptly repainted the damaged body element as part of the warranty. Naturally, on all second-hand Lexus RX of the third generation, which have already rolled back the warranty period, if similar defects appear, the owners will have to repaint at their own expense. The chrome-plated body elements also turned out to be not too resistant in our conditions. However, such claims can be made against almost any car used in our country. Rust stains on other elements should seriously alert you. They are characteristic exclusively for damaged specimens, which moreover were not restored in the best way. However, when buying a used Lexus RX, in any case, you should use the services of a specialized service. Masters in a branded service will, with the help of a special scanner, which ordinary garage owners simply do not have, will at least be able to determine how much the mileage declared at the time of sales corresponds to reality. Unfortunately, Lexus RX owners regularly adjust the real mileage before the sale. However, only a few of them are spent on evaporating and reprogramming the chip, after which it becomes almost impossible to detect the fact of the mileage correction. Whatever one may say, but the quality of finishing materials Lexus RX doesn't hold up to its German competitors. What are at least lacquered wooden inserts in the cabin, which for some reason more resemble not the most expensive plastic under a tree? The leather upholstery of the seats wears out quite quickly, and by the mark of 100-120 thousand kilometers, the interior of the Japanese crossover begins to creak noticeably. For the same run, you can expect problems with the Mark Levinson multimedia system, the sound of which, for some unknown reason, disappears and then comes back again. In addition, the multimedia system can sometimes glitch and, for example, spontaneously eject the disk. Fortunately, in most cases, we are not talking about a head unit replacement or some kind of expensive repair. In most cases, it's enough to dismantle the multimedia system and then thoroughly clean the contacts of all buttons and connectors. Sometimes it may be necessary to rewrite the audio system. Otherwise, the Japanese crossover is devoid of any significant problems with the electronics. It's gratifying that there are no weak points either in the air conditioning system or in the interior heating system. When examining a used copy, you should pay special attention to the optics, more precisely on the direction of the light beam. The fact is that with age, the body position sensor fails, after which the headlights first start to shine either under your feet or into the sky. Replacing the sensor is not a big deal, but it's quite expensive. Many parts for the Lexus RX are in principle not cheap, which predetermined the interest in them from the criminal world. Often after parking overnight, the owners of a Japanese crossover find that the car has lost its side mirrors. For a new mirror with a dimming function you will have to pay at least 20-25 thousand rubles. An ordinary mirror with only one heating will cost half the price. The front-wheel drive version RX270 is very rare in our aftermarket. There is no need to regret this, if only because there is not much point in buying a monodrive modification of the crossover. The phlegmatic acceleration to the first 100 km per hour, which takes about 11 seconds, doesn't fit in with the premium image of the crossover. At the same time, the Lexus RX270 in city mode will require at least 12-13 liters of fuel for every 100 km. In other words, it will not be possible to save on fuel either. As for the reliability of the 188 horsepower petrol 4, which received the internal plant index 1ARFE, it's at a fairly high level. Its typical weak points include a not very durable pump, which can withstand an average of 100 to 150,000 km and requires a VVTi clutch after being replaced after a run of 100,000 km. As for the timing chain, it has proven itself to be very reliable. Replacement will be required only after the car has covered at least 250,000 km. Buying a Lexus RX 270 is not justified also because for the same money you can find an all-wheel drive modification. And this is true for both the RX 
350 version and the RX 450H hybrid. There are no contraindications to buying any of these modifications. Outwardly, the hybrid differs from a conventional crossover only in blue nameplanes on the body and slightly modified bumpers. Scary stories that the hybrid battery in our conditions will last 3-4 years at most are in the distant past. The experience of operating hybrid Lexus RX in our country suggests that the batteries are able to hold out in a working condition for more than 10 years. But it's important to understand that the battery of any hybrid vehicle doesn't like long downtime. Accordingly, those copies of the Lexus RX 450H that stood idle for a long time while waiting for a new owner should be diagnosed especially carefully. It's better to bypass those hybrids that were restored after an accident. It's possible that, while waiting for the necessary spare parts, the car stood motionless for several months, which definitely didn't increase the battery life. Hybrid instances in which the battery is on its last legs can be identified even during a test drive. If only a gasoline engine works in a hybrid installation, this may indicate possible problems. In sluggish traffic jams and at stops, the hybrid Lexus RX should turn into an electric car at all. Ideally, a gasoline engine should only come into operation when it picks up speed intensively and at high speeds. If that doesn't happen, it's worth thinking again. There is no need to count on an inexpensive replacement of a dead battery. The price of the issue with a complete replacement is at least 500-600 thousand rubles. You can save a little by contacting unofficial workshops whose masters can take on the replacement of individual packages of the battery pack. By the way, the Lexus RX Hybrid is by no means intended for off-road driving. In the event of a slip of the front wheels, the torque is transmitted to the rear axle by means of an electric motor. By and large, on rough terrain, such a plug-in four-wheel drive turns out to be useless. As for the gasoline engine, which is part of the hybrid power plant, it differs little from the 3.5-liter power unit of the Lexus RX 350 version. The fundamental difference between the 2GR FXE hybrid motor and the conventional one bearing the 2GR FE index is that the former uses the Atkinson cycle for operation. In addition, the gasoline engine of the hybrid version has a slightly lower compression ratio. Due to the similar design, both gasoline engines of the Japanese crossover have common features and disadvantages. Both units are considered high temperature and extremely sensitive to overheating. The situation is aggravated by the fact that the indication doesn't always signal in time that the level of antifreeze in the radiator has dropped to a critically low level. This is often due to the formation of air locks. Interestingly, when carrying out maintenance, Lexus doesn't provide for washing the cooling radiator at all, which is why even on cars with a mileage of 70-80 thousand kilometers, it can be cloaked with dirt. Naturally, in this case there can be no talk of the effectiveness of the work. For Lexus RX owners, thorough washing of the cooling radiator should become a mandatory procedure that must be performed every 50-60 thousand kilometers. As for the cooling radiator itself, after a run of 120-150 thousand kilometers, it will probably need to be replaced. An original radiator will cost 30-35 thousand rubles, an unoriginal one 13-15 thousand rubles. When examining the instance you like, you should pay special attention to the absence of oil leaks between the power unit and the gearbox. If there are still traces of oil, you should be ready to replace the rear crankshaft oil seal. This malfunction, by the way, may indirectly indicate a very high mileage. As a rule, smudges are found only on those crossovers that manage to drive at least 250,000 km. To replace the oil seal, you will have to dismantle the gearbox. Because of the price tag for the work, it will be very impressive. Almost all Lexus RX owners note at some point that starting the engine is accompanied by a weld audible crash. The problem has been known for a long time and concerns the couplings of the VVTi system. Another thing is that extraneous sounds do not affect reliability in any way, but rather indicate that the owner has saved on high quality oil and the car itself has a mileage of at least 100,000 km, as well as on a four cylinder engine. On the 6, the timing chain serves at least 200 to 150,000 km. Together with it, you will have to replace two balancing chains, tensioners, and dampers. As a result, timing maintenance turns into a very expensive pleasure. But after considerable spending, you can again forget about the gas distribution chain for the next 200,000 km. 
It's noteworthy that, unlike the Lexus GS sedan, the known problem of the fifth cylinder is practically not characteristic of the RX crossover, affected by less force and a different location in the engine compartment. There are no complaints at all about the automatic box I seen U660EF. With proper maintenance it can easily withstand 300,000 km. The main thing is not to forget about the need to change the transmission oil every 60,000 km. It is by no means recommended to save on oil service, since the automatic Lexus RX with all its reliability is very sensitive to the purity of the oil. The cost of replacing the oil and filter ranges from 20 to 25,000 rubles. With a partial replacement you can keep within 12-15,000 rubles. Don't worry about the hybrid drivetrain either. The official regulations provide for the replacement of the working fluid in the distributor and gearboxes every 40,000 km, but after the end of the warranty period many owners forget about this procedure. As a result, the replacement interval is increased by 2-3 times. In other words, a full transmission service after buying a used copy should be done without fail. The only weak point in the suspension of the Japanese crossover is considered to be the shock absorber struts. There are many known cases when the tracks began to leak even after mileage of 40-50 thousand kilometers. On the other hand, the native shock absorbers in most of the copies presented on the secondary market have probably already been replaced with better quality counterparts from other manufacturers. Levers serve about 100 thousand kilometers in the Lexus RX suspension. The hubs serve on average about 150,000 km, although there are many cases when they needed to be replaced only after the 200,000 km mark. But if the front wheel bearing can be replaced separately, then the rear will require replacement exclusively in conjunction with the hub. The service life of the stabilizer bushings on our roads is not very long, about 50,000 km. As the mileage increases, you should pay more attention to the condition of the brake-up bolts in the rear suspension. They turn sour from long inactivity. In the steering of the Japanese crossover, the classic scheme with an electric power steering is used. There are practically no problems with it. The electric amplifier is also supported by the fact that a possible unlikely repair will in any case be cheaper than the hydraulic amplifier that was used on the previous generation crossover. On a Lexus RX with high mileage, a slight knock on the steering gear may occur. It usually comes from a worn gear in the booster gearbox, less commonly a worn-out steering column intermediate shaft. Interestingly, this problem is more typical for those copies that were released in 2009-2010. For Lexus RX you can easily select both a set of original brake pads and discs and a high quality non-original. This will have to be done relatively often, since due to the considerable weight of the car, discs and pads cannot boast of a long service life. In addition, Lexus RX front brake discs tend to overheat. Fortunately, there are not so many fans of an aggressive driving style among the owners of the Japanese crossover. The third generation Lexus RX is a great choice for a used premium crossover. For those who are looking for a car that will not require monthly service calls, this model is the best fit. With regard to the choice between the traditional petrol version and the hybrid, then in many respects it's worth focusing on the condition of a particular instance. The hybrid wins in dynamics, but at the same time in the long term it can require serious expenses for the restoration or purchase a new battery. By the way, the experience of real operation shows that the hybrid crossover doesn't have any serious advantage in fuel consumption. In addition to this, there are more traditional gasoline crossovers in our secondary market. Accordingly, it will be much easier to find a copy of the Lexus RX 350 that will meet all the buyer's requirements. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.